two campuses. Kubota starting lineups. Kent State fourth player scoring a double figures. Antonio Williams leads the way. Almost 50 to gauge. Troy Simons has hit 88 threes. Third most in the back. Akron's Tyler Chee second on the tips in scoring. 16 points a game. Eighth best in the conference. Double figures in all but three games this year. Rivalry game tonight against Kent State. Meeting number 154 about to unfold here at the jar on the Akron campus. Early foul call. Tyler Cheese. Two seconds in, Steve. I think you get a little amped up in these rivalry games. And, you know, when you look at it, Akron has a lot of them alive. They want that number one seed. Kent, no matter what happens, they're going to play Monday at home, the home game in the first round of the tournament. Chris Beaver, Newak, Steve McJunkins on court officiating play here tonight. Pippen hangs, gets a roll, and hits Danny Pippen. Good start. Kent State. Danny Pippen and Williams are the two guys that have to play well for them to get an upset victory here. Danny Pippen can shoot it outside, he can take it inside. Lauren Christian Jackson, second in the back and scoring behind Northern Illinois. Eugene Drain. Up top cheese, taking three. Can't quit. And a rebound for Anthony Roberts back in the Kent State lineup. They started broadcast a week ago in Athens against Ohio with a groin strain he suffered in the pregame warm-up. Here's Simon stepping back for three. Drills it. Great start, Kent State. Kent State is a team that plays better against better competition. Actually, they're 3-0 and against Akron and Bowling Green that are combined 25-9 and in the conference, but they're 1-2 against the bottom. Jackson back iron miss. Williams the track down. Comes the serious Williams and he finds a range from three on senior night. Final home game in his career. Only one year player played three years at Dayton. Our Flyers having a brilliant season for Anthony Grant in the Atlantic 10. Zarius Williams playing for a title himself here at Akron now. Antonio Booman Williams pulls up too strong off the glass. And Zarius Williams, the rebound for Akron. That was a smart play by React, making sure he got up. Booman is only six foot tall. Just go and wall up and don't jump when he jumps. Buck foul call on Simons. One of the best shooters. We talked to Coach Senderoff this, uh, today. He was saying that he wants Simons to shoot more. He's such a good shooter. He's a guy that... Is really a quiet player, but he's one of the best three-point shooters in the conference. And he is the player profile tonight, brought to you by State Farm. Coach Senderoff told us he only takes high-percentage shots. Sometimes he wishes he shot it even more. Roberts, good effort there on the near takeaway. He sits for now, though. Replaced by Giovanni Santiago for Kent State. Six to shoot. Cheese step back. Oh, it's senior night. He's through from three. Big smile from Cheese. They need to get that three-point shot going. They struggled a little bit early against Ohio on Tuesday. Looking good so far. Robert step back for 15. Christian Jackson, diminutive dynamo. Quickly up court, tries it to left. And he hurdles over into the stanchion. As he's fouled on the way to the basket, he shoots two. This kid's five. Eight. I'm 6'10". He is about 5'5", five, five, but you'll see Cheese behind the three-point line knocking the down the jump shot. Like I said, Cheese had seven assists against Ohio and really helped him on the offensive end, not so much from scoring but from distributing. Lauren Jackson fouled out of that game, and they needed somebody to pick up his end of the, the, the offense. And they sure did for John Gross with a huge rally in the second half. Only gave up 17 second half points to Ohio. And the win here on Tuesday, we call on CBS Sports Network. Jackson hits a couple. His dad is here. Also, Lauren. Victory Rock Prep School. He coached Lauren and Dan Reak together in Bradenton, Florida. Jackson transferred from Long Beach State. What a story. What a player he's been. Great pass. Williams, second try at it, somehow doesn't drop. Whittington trying to tip it in. Williams has got it back. What an effort. Here's Pippen kicking three. Not close. Jackson long rebound. And a run out for Akron. Look at how quick he is, but he lost a handle this time. Comes to react. Banks kicking three. He's got it. Cattle Banks buries a triple.
I'm Kent State right now. I get the ball inside of Wennington. He is battling on the low block. Trying to keep that ball alive. You gotta get the ball inside to the big fell. Let him work. Pippen tend to shoot. Roberts thinking three. Rattles out. Rebound for Tyler Cheese. The JC transfer. Christian Jackson. Not this time. Too strong on a three. Williams will try. Hoist the triple. Everything but go down. For the Dayton transfer. And a rebound for Roberts. This is fast break basketball here. Work down low. Layup. Whittington. Yes. Chance for a three point play. Philip Whittington of Kent State. Uh, give Roberts a lot of credit. Came down the court. He could have taken it over to the basket, but he saw Riak come over and help out. Whittington had his hands up. This is Whittington's a smart kid. Senior construction management graduate. Already got a job lined up He's not great. in Atlanta. But I, I, I have a feeling that he might want to go overseas and play and make a little money. And then he'll have that degree for his life. What a smart kid. Made a great play there. Los Angeles cannot complete the three-point play. Williams a handle rebound and on the baseline saves it. For his teammate Greg Tribble, freshman from Cincinnati, getting his first playing time here tonight. Tribble played outstanding against Ohio when Jackson was out with the fouls. Not sure if that was a lob or a shot. Christian Jackson, I think that was a lob for Reese. Broken up instead by Antonio Williams. Whittington from 17, way off. Yeah, he got that construction degree. He just threw up the first brick. <laughs> Dribble rebound. Off the miss from Dribble. Rebound Williams from Simons. Antonio Williams lays it in. Nice Euro step in transition. When you need a big play, you go to Antonio Williams. This kid plays so hard. I mean, he's the heart and soul of this team. The best player is Dan probably Danny Pippen, the most important player. Night in and night out is Pippen, but Antonio Williams is the heartbeat. Good chat with Rob Sindroff before the game. He told us what a valuable player he has been all year. Should be all conference. Banks trying to make the save. Gets the ball when we return. Underway from the jar. Meeting one, five, four. These great college basketball rivals. You're watching Bracket Center, 12.6 miles away. From Summit to Portage Counties, to be precise. Daniel Banks had a shot. Last moments to try to win the game. Brackland couldn't come through. Pippen sure did. Had a double-double that night. Way off this time. And she's has a rebound for Akron. On the bounce for Reese. Played really well here Tuesday against Ohio. Pump fake for Cameron Reese and hits. That time he just got the ball with the back of his basket. Made a couple moves around the basket. In fact, he backed off. Didn't stay on there. What the pressure defense on the inside. 6.6 rebounds. The first time these teams met. At the max center. In Kent. Simons back in the game. Back in the spin. The fallaway jumper for Troy Simons. Not just a three point shooter. Simons is, is going to have to pick up that offense. He's going to have to shoot tonight because right now, CJ Williams said he's not in the game. He's not even here. He's not going to play. And he's one of the guys on the bench. So it's a shorter bench for Kent State. They need production from Simons. Christian Jackson for three. Christian Jackson is one of those guys, when you have those three point shooters on the perimeter, and Jackson running the show, he can dribble drive, get to the basket, he can pull up, but he's finding guys on the perimeter. Williams drives and converts. Antonio Williams, the senior, junior college transfer, out of Chicago, went to Indian Hills College. Final regular season game for him, Christian Jackson, the kick out, Rosarius Williams. Dribble, front eye miss from long range. Williams, a track down. The other Williams, that's Antonio, got in the way. Akron keeps it. You see the nice skip pass leaving Jackson open. That's a big throwing it. Williams throwing it cross court. Jackson's able to do it then. When you need that bucket, Antonio Williams, 5 10 maybe. Drive it in the lane. They haven't listed at six foot, but I just. You're not going to give him six foot. I don't give him six foot. He oh. is outstanding. He jumps like he's, six, like he's a 6'3 guy. He gets up around that rim. Banks got caught under the basket. 
Santiago defensive glass, Kent State. Kick out, Simons, New Mexico transfer. Too strong on three. Whittington kept it alive. And a foul call on Turvel Beck, the UNLV transfer. As he gets physical on the rebound attempt. And you'll see the shot from Simons. Rob Center Rob told us today, Wolfie, go deep on the bench. He wants to keep the bodies as fresh as possible for Monday because without question, they'll play at home. It can't be a top four seed. The way it's worked out this year. He's got to keep his guys fresh. Loose change comes to Santiago. He's one of the players getting a lot of minutes tonight. John Whittington, nice fake, and the jump hook with the right in the paint. Well, John Gross has talked about making sure we win the rebounding war. He said at every time out, he's going to check and see the rebounds and turnovers. And right now they're winning the rebounding war, but they got to keep Whittington out of the post. Christian Jackson. Trying to get free. Very physical. Off the glass and in. He received the bump, but no whistle. Very strong upper body to be able to get that shot off with contact. We saw him shooting around today. Had a brace on the right hand. He said he hurt a couple games back. Ward in practice, but does not have it on during the game here tonight. But, and after the game, he goes up to the coach where he hurt it. And he says, uh, Coach, I hurt my I hurt my thumb. And he goes, well, you need to hurt it every time. He had 35 points in that game. But you got to love Jackson. This is diminutive guard. He gets in there. He's able to get these guys open for outside jump shots. It's it's nice when you have a facilitator like Jackson. And there's Marion Jackson's playing having a great year. Lauren Jack, Christian Jackson's having a great year. German. You see Santiago coming in a game and wow. another three-point jump shot. Well, six points against BG on Tuesday night. And the senior night win for Kent State, freshman from Puerto Rico. That was pretty good. Well, I think Rob Senderoff's wondering who he's going to have play in this conference tournament. And he's trying to figure out if Santiago is going to be that guy. As you see, Kent State has to make sure they know where Jackson is. Jackson's running wild so far early. they got to get the ball to run and turn over Akron. On the other end, Akron doesn't want to turn the ball over to have live ball uh, turnovers and easy points in the paint and they have to win the rebounding war they want it when they played at Kent State but they struggled in the turnover side of it here's Dan Riak on the move gets a roll on senior night transfer from East Carolina it's a big time high move. school teammate of Lauren Christian Jackson that was a sweet move wasn't it nice little spin move in there uh, recent foul on Kent State's Turbell Beck is second Bainbury the game up top missed by Roberts the sophomore from Detroit can't click from three How many times did Rob Senderoff say you know hey I don't think this game is not going to mean anything in the, 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 the as far as what's going to happen in the tournament I want to win this game he was so excited about playing in this rivalry game halftime at the Stroh Center on the BG campus and Buffalo leads now by seven. So if Bowling Green loses that game, regardless of what happens here, Akron is the regular season champion outright and the number one seed in the upcoming MAC tournament. If BG can rally and win, Akron loses, then Bowling Green takes the top seed. If they both win, of course, it is a Akron championship by one game. Santiago out. And one more free throw here for Anthony Roberts. It was interesting. We gave the game on Tuesday. John Gross did not want to cut down the nets, and he didn't want to talk about it. He wouldn't talk with us about it, but he basically never brought it up in a shoot-around, and we talked about it. He distanced himself from it and didn't decide to cut down the nets until after the game was over. Good feed, Antonio Williams to Whittington. And Philip Whittington will shoot two. So, if things started tonight, back in the top seed. Quarterfinals for the top four seeds Buffalo Bowling Green And Northern Illinois we will cover the semifinals both this year can't wait on CBS Sports Network on Friday championship game is Saturday in Cleveland It's exciting Buffalo defending champs. You know, you just don't know um, There's so many good teams right now Toledo is playing well. Coach Walchick loves his team And everybody says we don't want to play him you got Eastern Michigan, Rob Murphy. His team started off like a ball of fire. 
sputtered a little bit. Got to turn around, and then you have Kent State who can beat anybody at any time. So there guards, Danny Pippen, Whittington, agree. Christian Jackson relatively quiet so far. Williams to the basket for two. Williams. And Williams started off very strong against Ohio and really was a leader in that game offensively. John Gross told us when he's playing well offensively, gives us another score that we need, and we think we can win this whole thing. Williamson can't connect from 12 feet. Dang React, long defensive rebound. Christian Jackson, the former high school teammates in Bradenton, Florida. Reunited in Akron, Ohio. Cheese with a left. No finish this time. Rebound. Whittington off the head of his teammate Williams. And Booman Antonio Williams runs the show for the Golden Flashes. He pops from 10. Wow. That was not close to the basket. And Zarius Williams has the rebound for Akron. Here's Banks. Big fan of Devin Booker, he told us pregame tonight. Couldn't wait for this home finale. He said it's been such a thrill to transfer from JC and now win a championship. At least co-champs in the Mid-American Conference this year. Roberts long range bomb. That time there was mismatches all over the court. And because of the mismatch, they got a wide open three. Strain before the Ohio game, a knee injury before Tuesday's game with Bowling Green. Roberts out for a couple games, foul called, and free throws on the way for Williams. You see, Whittington throws it outside. You have Riach. Instead of being down low, he was on the perimeter. You had Lauren Christian Jackson on the low block. Big miss. Wasn't sure he'd have Roberts tonight, but luckily healing just in time after missing two games in a row. And here's Williams with the free throw line. Got a big season. 15 double figure rebound game. Second in the back behind Willie Jackson. Toledo's 24. First game, Kent State, 15 points, 10 rebounds. Back on January 31st. Subs here for Akron. So Williams to me is kind of like that wild card player of the secret sauce, maybe for Akron's success. Not a lot of people talk about it. Well, I think it's interesting how John Gross relates to him so well. John Gross was at Illinois, had three athletic directors, three chancellors, struggled, but the state, they did win 20 games three times, but he felt like he was let go there and he had to start over. He felt like Williams coming here from Dayton, or maybe that if they, he didn't think he'd play again, he felt he got a reprieve and he's taken the Taking it and going the extra mile, and it's great senior year for Williams. Another tennis shoot for Roberts. He is hit on the way to the basket on the baseline. Foul call on Ali Ali, the freshman from Kendallsville, Indiana. Good dribble penetration by Roberts. He's been asked to do a little bit more. CJ Williams said would come in, and he's strong, aggressive. He could dribble, drive, he could shoot the three. So with him not in the game, I'm not playing. Roberts has to do a little bit more creating with the dribble drive. Williams floats, can hit, follows off the glass, and again, Antonio Williams the want to. And the delivery for Kent State. Well, when you shoot the shot, you know exactly where it's going. That was just a perfect example. Williams knew exactly where that ball was going to go. He was able to get the quick stick back. He's such a quick jumper. He was able to get in there before the defense. Ali Ali in the paint. Kicks out Christian Jackson. Fake from the free throw line. Lean in. Short this time. And commits the foul. That's his second. We've got a break. From the Jar and Akron sold out. 5,500 plus standing room only for this great rivalry. So uh, it's an important game. I don't care what the record is, it doesn't matter. And right now, this rivalry game, Kent, Kent State's playing awesome. They have 22 possessions and zero turnovers, Rhino. All their freshman, Evan Bainbridge from Stowe, Ohio. Rob Sendroff told us pregame. They would have beaten Bowling Green on Tuesday night. We have a great play of both Giovanni Santiago and Evan Bainbridge off the bench. Peterson back in. 
As Bainbridge gets his job done for Kent State. Keep in mind that Lauren Christian Jackson picked up a second foul before the break. Fouled out of Tuesday's game against Ohio with 8.24 to go in the second half. And yet, Akron rallied, held the Bobcats to 17 points in the second half of the one game. Yeah, they were losing. Seven. Akron was losing. 21 out. Well, in the last foul he got was a ticky tack foul. And John Gross was talking to us today. He's like, you know, you don't need to do that. You know, the foul he got against Ohio, he was 30 feet from the basket, reaching in. You just, you need to be smart. They need him on the, on the floor. 20 points a game. Just behind Northern Illinois, Eugene German for top in the back. What a reverse layup by Antonio Williams, who has shown up to play tonight. He's got eight in the first half. Explosive baseline move. Finishes with a left off the glass. And he goes against bigger guys. That time he went underneath the basket. Used the basket as like a screen. Was able to lay it in. Little freshman from Cincinnati. Here's Banks, the senior. Steps back. And hits. It's a two. Little Kemba, Kendall Banks. Little Kemba Walker action. Little crossover step back. Right now. Akron came out of the gate really a blaze. They've, they've settled down into it. They need to figure out how they're going to stop the dribble drive by Boo Man Williams. Williams needs help. Simons, eight to shoot. Transfer from New Mexico and Junior Collins. Falling away, hits another tough shot. That's the second time he's been able to spin and hit the fadeaway. Troy Simons for two more. You can see why Rob Senderoff wants him shooting more. I mean, he, he, he does. He shoots too many high percentage shots for a guy that can shoot like that off balance. Nice break, Williams on Williams. Antonio Williams did not think he fouled Zarius Williams, but he is whistled for the personal. So you see this dribble drive. This is a big guy. Booman Williams went up and around. Very, very strong move. And Simons with the step back. Back to Zarius Williams. His numbers. One more free throw. A senior from Springfield, Ohio. Played three years at Dayton. He's had a big season. Tied for third in the back. And rebounds per game behind Willie Jackson and Josh Mbala of Toledo and Buffalo. Christian Jackson continues to sit. Over two fouls. We saw him today. He's kind of laughed off the other night when they won the game. He was the cheerleader for Akron at the end with those five fouls. Eight and a half to go in the second half. He can't do that again tonight, though, Wolfie, if they're going to win this game. Well, and I think that right now, that, that was at the end of the game. He doesn't like sitting out. I mean, this is a guy, they were subbing him in offense for defense, or defense for offense to keep him out of foul trouble that game. It's just not the way he plays. You have to unleash him, but you get in foul trouble early. It, it, it takes you out of the game. Wow, Danny Pippen, really tough. Pass the catch in traffic from Peterson and the righty finish. As Kent State clicks in a half-court offense. Nice two-man game, Peterson Pippen. Kick out. Banks take a three. Can't deliver, and there's Pippen with a rebound. It was a double-double waiting to happen. Rob Sendroff told us pregame, look, he's got to be a three-level score. If he sits out the perimeter and hoist threes, we can't win. Look at Williams with the basket. Jets through traffic, can't finish this time. Too strong. Off the glass with a right hand. Man, is he quick. I'll tell you, it's, it, it is amazing how good Danny Pippen is. Uh, when he keeps his emotions under control, he's the best player in this conference. Had a technical Tuesday against Bowling Green. Almost had a second one, got ejected. Was ejected for a flag or two in our game against Ohio a week ago. Here's Reese. Too strong off the glass and pipping up high for the rebound. Case in point. And he really can be a force. But you got to be in the game to be a force. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Really good road half here for Kent State. So far, Pippen, three, on two, rattles out. Peterson kept it alive for Roberts, who tries. Pulls the trigger too strong. Long rebound, Simons. And a fresh 20 for Kent State. And a reach foul call against Chief. We take a break from the jar. Jam. 
missed the Buffalo game with the back spasms return against Miami. A big year. Second of the team in threes made. Got great range. 26 of 29 games in double figures for Danny. All of last year out with two knee injuries. It's one of two. But he, what he's got to do is understand the game enough. When he hits three or four outside jump shots, he's got to go back inside. He can't stay out there because his game is inside outside. One reason Kent State is up. No turnovers. Hard to imagine. It's late in the game. In the first half. Harris Banks, there's a three. And he looks at the Kent State bench with little intimidation. This is a big rivalry, and emotions can run high. Well, I think that the best thing to do is get back on defense. But, you know, you're playing against a team, Kent, that can pretty much play with anybody. I mean, they are strong, and right now, they have been the stronger of the two teams. This is the guy they have to get the ball to. Tough shot for Pippen. Go ahead and sticks. Well, that's a dead ball, and Arrow points the other way. Well, good play by React. Good switch. Lord Jackson draws so much attention. Jump shooters are wide open. And Banks can knock it down from, from deep. We talked to Channel Pregame, and I said, unique name. Where'd that come from? He said, I'm not sure. I'm actually Channel Banks the fourth. Long line tradition, but he doesn't know the origin of the name. He just thinks it's great. It is special, he said. Yeah. Everybody knows me. <laughs> That's right. It is a great thing. Back iron miss there for Channel Banks. There's Antonio Williams having an all-back type here. Rob Sandoval thinks he should be first team. Tough to argue with the season now. The guy that knows Booman in Kent, Ohio has had. There's Whittington, the jump hook, and again, when the 6'8 senior from Los Angeles gets free, and his game is all inside. The one-two punch with Pippen is tough. Other end, Christian Jackson back on the floor, converts with a left. Well, it's interesting. You got on one side, Whittington, the, one of the biggest guys on the court, scoring down low, and then turn around, one of the littlest guys gets it in the paint. Bowling Green is tied by David Buffalo, by the way, with an early rally to begin the second half. A huge update on that one. Banks, overplay, steal. Ten blanks to take with a left. Can't hit, there's a foul. And he shoots here for Akron. We'll talk about points in the paint. You know, there's different ways of getting the points in the paint. Because Wellington playing against the bigger react with a nice little hook over the left shoulder. And then beating the defense down quickly is Lauren Christian Jackson. Talk about how quick he is. If you guard him too close, he'll go around you. If you don't guard him close enough, he's going to knock the three down. Stay with us for AT&T at the half. Coming up, Adam Zucker, Toledo Elite, Ryan Howells, Gary Parrish, Jerry Palm. We'll bring you all the latest news, scores, and highlights. And, of course, who's in, who's out. Jerry's latest NCAA tournament bracket. Oh, it's March Madness. It's bracketology time. With so much happening nationwide. Christian Jackson out. We saw a lot of substitutional situations for John Gross in the second half of the Ohio game. Doing the same thing here. Does not want... Christian Jackson to pick up his third foul. This is a time that I think you have to have Winnington and Pippen trying to get the ball inside. I'll tell you what, they, they have done a really good job. I was going to say before then, they did a great job. Almost the first whole first half without a turnover. They now have two turnovers. Just two. 31 possessions without having a turnover. So, as we said, BG, the Falcons making a run. Up in West uh, at uh, Stroh Center. Another guy from BG to be part of the Turner. I mean, Justin Turner's had a great year. We're going back and forth to Buffalo. Regular season finale. Christian Jackson, long three, is way off the mark. And a rebound for Simons. Antonio Williams with a court speed, with a left, but not close. Jeez. Rebound, run out, Akron. Tyler Cheese, all bounce. React, the catch. And the jump hook for Dan React out of Melbourne, Australia. That was a great move. Really nice post moves, Wolfie, in this game for Dan React. Well, it's part of a 9 2 zip run to take the lead back in a back and forth first half. 
Wagon wheel. Challenge continues. The great rivalry. Kick for the tape. Can't get a roll for two. I like the Daniel idea. Redak has the rebound. I like the idea. Getting the ball inside. Pippen driving to the basket. He settled for the three. Timeout. 47.6 seconds to go in our first half. So who will win? Mac player getting things going. You know what Coach Montgomery has done. You know they. Eugene German, I mean, he's a nice player. He, he's fun to watch. I mean, he's raised his game another level. 39 seconds of counting first half. 10 to shoot for Zarius Williams. The Dayton transfer. Falling away in double figures in this first half. That was nice. He's got 11. But John Gross saw something. He called timeout. That was set up out of the timeout to get the ball into Williams' hands. Very smart move. Maybe he saw that he had a bigger, a smaller man on him, that he could get a shot off. But it was one-on-one -on -one coverage. Smart timeout by John Gross. Shot clock, game clock, almost exactly the same here. Final moments, first half. Ten to shoot. And Roberts going to dribble drive and maybe look for Pippen stepping out. Four seconds. Pippen long three. He's got it. Danny Pippen splashes a bomb triple to end the first half in style for Kent State. That was it wasn't much. It was just Roberts throwing Jackson limited in that first half. Did have nine points on three and seven, shooting the max second leading score. Right, Eugene Drummond of Northern Illinois. Only played 15 minutes, but two fouls. Usually plays about 40 minutes a game. He rarely comes out. Roberts almost travels underway second half. Kent State on the road here tonight. Time for a season sweep of their arch rivals. Pippen's three is nowhere near the basket. Banks the rebound. The runoff for Williams! Oh, he goes! Down it goes with the hammer! Zarius Williams! That was great recognition and a quick pass. Too many times guys wait when they get the ball in transition and wait till the guy's too close to the basket. That time, Banks gave it up early. Donald Williams for the easy dunk. Simons on the red is fouled and hits a three. Troy Simons' chance for a four-point play as he hits his second three ball of the game. Now watch how Banks gets the ball out quick. Soon as he sees that Williams has his man beat, they will take it down. And here's Simons raising up. And, and what, I don't know if anybody saw that, but Banks went over to the referee and said that Simons kicked his leg out and tripped him, and it, and it sort of did look like that, but there still is a foul. Simons doesn't convert the four-point play. 93s on the year now for Troy Simons. Banks had a run, step back three. But I miss, Pippen has the rebound. Foul on Banks was his first a moment ago. Roberts to take, floats, teardrop off the glass. And in, that's a tough shot, high arcing rainmaker for Anthony Roberts. Roberts isn't shooting a great percentage, but I'll tell you what, he's got four rebounds and two assists, and he's made some really nice plays in the half court dribble drive. Gee, set up in the corner, can't convert. Oh, Williams can! He soars and scars. Zarius Williams with the follow. The offensive glass and a chance for a three-point play. The Rhino, if he plays the way he's played the last two games, then Akron can run the table to get to the NCAA tournament. Good dribble drive once again by Christian Jackson, but watch the stick back quickly by Williams, who's got 15 points and seven or eight rebounds. Wow. Pippen's second foul. What an effort by Zarius Williams. He played three years at Dayton and had a total of 13 starts. As a sophomore, about eight and a half points a game. Sat out last year as a transfer, one-year player for the Zips, and man, has he made it count. Roberts, a take and the two. That's a tough one-handed move for Anthony Roberts. Back-to-back, -back, really nice plays by Roberts. One time using the glass from the front. This time, one-handed drive using the, the backboard again. Christian Jackson on the bounce, tough pass to catch there. For Dang Riak and has turned over. Anthony Roberts has come to play here in the second half. Good pump fake gets around Banks. Just takes it up very quickly before the defense can come over. It's quite a move for the sophomore from Detroit. Whittington takes a seat. Buffalo now by 10 over BG in the second half. So Buffalo wins that game, and Akron is the number one seed in the upcoming back tournament.
and the zips of the outright champs. Right now, that's the co-championship. Roberts looking for a three in a row, can't convert. Finds a loose change, kick out. Williams thought about a three. He'll drive instead. Hanks can't hit. Rebound for Cheese. He's got to match the physicality of Kent State right now. The lefty surprisingly misses the reverse layup. Yeah, but and Trivell back has the rebound. They're not being physical with Kent State. Kent State is being strong and physical. Akron is backing down a little bit. That time right there, Cheese went away from the basket and started just trying to take it in and maybe get a little contact. Roberts to take again, and yet again, Anthony Roberts comes through. He spins the reverse layup off the glass. Is perfect. He what has a second half for Roberts here. He's been outstanding in the second half, Rhino, and he's coming straight into the basket and going through contact. Christian Jackson on the end. Launching a long three. And quick from long range. Hip on the rebound. He's got five boards tonight. Seven double doubles this year. Simons and Tony Williams almost left the rock behind. Turbell back, UNLV transfer on React. Just too strong, just too good. He gets physical and lays it in. Timeout, Akron. Right now, Rhino, Kent State is the more physical team. They have. He's got to stop the guys getting to the basket on the defensive end. I think that Akron has to pick up their interior defense intensity. We're going to win this game. Dribble! The lob and hammer! The play designed for Greg Dribble and his first field goal of the night. Emphatic alley-oop slam. Called out of the timeout. John Gross, a master of doing that. Just a pick and roll. That gets straight to the basket. Pippen gets physical. Back. Stick back for two. The desire, the energy, uh, the emotion, the walk too tight, you can tell. This is a rivalry game. These guys are playing hard. And the points in the paint dominated by Kent State. 30 to 16. You have to make sure you match that physicality on the low block, especially on defense if you're Akron. Eight to shoot. Lauren Christian Jackson through traffic, weaves his way, looking for a kick out. Picked by Roberts. Here's the run out. Anthony Roberts to the basket. Too strong. Beck trying to find it. And out of bounds. Leads us to a break. Break dribble. The Cincinnati kid. The alley -oop. Stop. LeBron included by Keith Dambrot. And Keith Dambrot, who I had a chance to text with, with this afternoon. Uh, really excited. Travis to get, him, get his uh, jersey hung from the rafters or his banner up in the rafters. And Tony Williams just lost the ball on the way to the basket, airmailed, and eventually comes to Akron on a wild play. Christian Jackson, nine points tonight, relatively quiet for the max second leading scorer. He's got five 30 point games this year, a couple of 35 point games, his career best. Nine to shoot. The diminutive dynamo, seven to shoot. He got hit in the face. It's going up. Three seconds. Drives to the basket. Hangs. Can't hit. And he's slow to get up. Looks like a good shot in the chops a moment ago. Roberts on the move. Good overplay. Triple. Comes into the corner. Antonio Williams. Driving. Leaves it off. No finish for Beck. And a foul call on Kent State. And Beck as he undercuts Zarius Williams. An update from the show center. A minute 48 to go, second half. The Bulls by six on the Falcons at BG. If Buffalo wins that game, Akron is the regular season sole champion in the match and will take the number one seed at next week's Mid-American Conference Tournament. BG is struggling down the stretch. They are limping into this tournament. But once again, we say it's about everybody else. I mean, they have a... A great shot of, of winning this thing if they can just get hot because they have the talent to do it. Cheese, physical blocking foul. Northern Illinois plays Ball State, by the way. That game starts at 8 o'clock tonight. And Roberts was moving. Cheese still have a chance. Now it's going to be it's, uh, out of bounds. I think that actually they have to. Take the ball to Kent State under the basket. You know, get in that lane. Kent State is doing a very good job of stopping that dribble drive. 
as I say, and not allowing second chance baskets. Another Kent State foul. Cameron Reese trying to get over the back there, Bainbridge. And Evan Bainbridge picks up the personal, the freshman from Stowe, Ohio. It's interesting how this game is playing out. When we talked to Coach Senderoff today. You know, you wonder if he was just going to maybe rest some of his guys, get ready for Monday, because no matter what happens, they're going to play, you know, a home game. A beautiful pass inside. There's Reese. Up he goes for the big time alley oop. Dunk. Williams and Reese combined for some Akron magic. Outside of that play, Kent State has come to play and uh, just let down on defense there. You cannot let your man get too far behind you. Falling apart now in the half court. Darius Williams thinking three. Not this time. Rattles out. Loose change comes to Giovanni Santiago. Roberts watched by Banks. Step back three. Anthony Roberts has had himself a game. Second three ball, he's got 13 tonight. Golden Flash is playing a lot of the bench this evening. To Wolfie's point, Williams had it strip. Reese kick out. Christian Jackson, not this time. Front iron miss, out of bounds. And Beck, great effort, baseline. Out of bounds, Jackson. Well, when well, you're trying to get, you have to get physical inside. Here's the arc. The guys in the perimeter will get you the ball. Bainbridge back out for now. Christian Jackson. Whoa, what happened there off the side of the backboard? Simons got knocked down by Lauren Christian Jackson, but finds Santiago. Here's the freshman. Well, back to the point about whether playing the long bench and getting guys playing time. Rob Senderoff said it at least five times. I want to win this game. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know how we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna win this game. But I have to win Monday, too. 2017, last time Kent State went to the NCAA tournament. Lost to UCLA in the first round. After winning the MAC tournament. Foul call on Giovanni Santiago. He's a second for the freshman from Puerto Rico. I think Rob Senderoff got his answer with Bainbridge and Santiago. You know, he said, I had to play him last game because we had guys down, and they came in and helped us win the game along with Pippen and Williams. But they have equated themselves quite nicely here this evening. And I think he knows he can count on them when he puts them in the game on Monday. Because they haven't played for a month. Needs them now. Dribble baseline. Up he goes. Down it goes. How about for a dribble? Baseline hammer dunk. The throwdown for the freshman from Cincy. Now that ex excites the crowd. Roberts other end. Can he stay hot? No. Back iron miss on a three. Triple the rebound. Christian Jackson and Santiago come together. Third foul. Giovanni Santiago. Now Triple is not the tallest guy, but he is very athletic. Talking to John Gross, he said, listen. If he was on a different team, he'd be a freshman on the all-freshman team. But he just doesn't get as many minutes. He doesn't get as many touches because they're on the best team in the conference. But this guy can, works on a consistent jump shot. He will be first or second team on Mac next year. And a big dunk against Ohio. And that second half serves rally for Akron on Tuesday. Into the corner, bangs! Field rim miss. Contact foul, serious Williams. Timeout from a sold out. Jar on the Akron campus, one possession game. Well, Greg Triple get a lot more playing time. But remember the name next year. He'll be a big force here at the Jar. He's just got to get consistent with his jump shot. It's hard to, to see how good he can be because he doesn't have as much playing time with the seniors as well. But... He's athletic and he knows the game. Short Simons, Peterson rebound. Santiago thought about launching a three. Fought better of it with a fresh 20 on the shot clock for the goal in flashes. Peterson, two-man game, Whittington. Spins. Can't score. 
And a rebound for Williams. And he was really deep. I, th I thought he had react beat. If he would have been a little more physical with react, he could have got a foul or get to the paint or get to the, the basket. Christian Jackson can't convert again. Had a block by Whittington last second. Track down rebound, Santiago. Looks like Lauren Christian Jackson is a little bit overhyped. He just needs to take a step back. You know, let the game come to him a little bit. Right now, he is all over the place and struggling with his offensive game. He's only 3 of 12 from the field, 1 of 6 from behind the arc. Missed his last six shots. He has struggled. Well, and, and to say struggled, if you look at the shot clock, getting down to 4. Peterson kept it alive. Look at the hustle for Mitch Peterson. He's a glue guy. Coach center off to us pregame. Case in point, Roberts steps into the corner. Can't hit a three. Here's Whittington, a weak side rebound. Philip Whittington, stick back for two. Wow. That's just hustle. That's just effort. And Mitch Peterson, as Coach Senderoff told us today, he said he's played in an NCAA game. He's won a lot of games for us here at Kent State. He's one of those guys that he really roots for and wants to see get back to Cleveland. See here, Roberts with the miss, and Wennington Banks had a box out, but Wennington's a bit bigger than he was able to get it and lay it in. And right now, with Akron 0 of 8 from behind the three point line in the second half, they're struggling on the offensive end that are not stopping Penn State in the paint on the defensive end. About a minute left at the throw center. Two point Buffalo lead. So this is really going to be interesting, Wolfie, in the next few minutes. The BG Buffalo game will finish first and start a half an hour earlier. Kent State wins. BG wins. Well, it's a Bowling Green top seed. They would win the tiebreaker with Akron. Well, wouldn't Kent State, a rival, love to knock Akron out of that first spot? Oh, too. would they ever. Something to remember in the rivalry. Williams, offensive foul. And I know the crowd doesn't like that, but watch, you can watch. Williams uses his offhand to get his third foul. You cannot get an advantage using that arm. Now watch that arm. He puts it right out there. That is a foul. It's easy to see. And that's going to be an offensive foul every time. I don't care if the defender's moving. You can't get an advantage using your off arm. Kicks to Dobo. Well, Turbell Beck on it, but he's on the bench. Out of the game, unfortunately, for Kent State. So it's turned over right back to Akron. Oh, Rob Sinderoff knows that was a missed possession. <laughs> he, is so, opportunity. he is so competitive. I mean, but we've gotten to know him, and I love talking to him because he's honest. He'll tell you the truth. Some of the things we can't say, but he tells you the truth, which is very blunt, isn't it? He is a really underrated coach, I'll tell you what. I... It's a final. So Buffalo has hung on in the last seconds to beat Bowling Green, 88-84. Akron is the 2020 Mid-American Conference regular season champs. They will be the number one seed at the upcoming MAC tournament in Cleveland coming up on Thursday, the quarterfinals. We'll have semifinal coverage for you on CBS Sports Network. On Friday night, number one seed, first time ever in John Gross's coaching career. That includes the Sweet 16 run in 2012 at Ohio. <laughs> he, he doesn't know it, and that's why he's looking that way. If he had hair, he'd be pulling it out. Three straight turnovers by Akron. They're not taking care of the ball, and they're not getting physical on the defense. Here's some of this. Christian Jackson for Williams. Transition three. He banks it in! Darius Williams! What time is it, Rhino? 8.02. 8.02 local time in Akron, and Pete Gill this is for you. The banks are open. It wasn't Channel Banks. It was Darius Williams. <laughs> wow, he just got a shrug. Peterson the drive. Dead hit. Winning to the one to block by Dan Riyak. And here comes Christian Jackson. Williams again. Hits again. Kent State and Akron separated by 12 and a half miles. Play for the Wagon Wheel Challenge. Scores kept throughout the year.
tallied up at the end of the spring sports season. Williams lost it. React takes it. Christian Jackson on the move. Floats. Into the corner for Banks. Way short. Rebound, Whittington. The last four possessions, Lord Christian Jackson has put it back in the holster, and he's passing the ball and distributing. He's the guy that got Williams those shots. He's done a very good job of not trying to force the shots. Pippen thinking three. Buries it from Santiago. Danny Pippen's second three ball of the game. Well, he's been inside working the paint. He decides to bring it back outside. Smart decision. Nobody got him. He's wide open from behind the arc. Shoot it. Williams. Too strong. Long rebound. Williams. For Kent State. Williams. Antonio, who pulls up, needs a bailout. Whittington trails and is fouled. On the way to the basket. No foul. That was just a screech from the fans. Thought it was a whistle. I thought it was a whistle. It was a lot. It's loud in here. I don't think there was a foul, but I thought it was a whistle. Me too. Jeez, physical. Uh, when you're playing against Danny Pippen, Williams has got to be out there. He's, he's sunk two people who blew the whistle a moment ago. It came from the corner to our right. Well, we thought it was. Well, I mean, we all did. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what was a call? I had no idea. It, was, it didn't look like it was a foul. She misses the point on the one and one. And a one possession game. Here comes Kent State. Akron's already wrapped up the top seed in the upcoming MAC tournament. They are MAC regular season champs, but forget about that now. For the next 6:44, it's all about the rivalry. Akron has wrapped up the number one seed. That is locked now as Bowling Green loses again. Kind of falling apart down the stretch for Coach Huber. Now the Bulls, the two-time defending champs in the MAC tournament. Uh, four seed, top four seed to buy in the quarterfinals on Thursday in Cleveland. Well, this is a rivalry game, and it's going to get physical. You can't call foul on everything. I think that the referee's done a really good job of keeping this in check because had so many issues with rivalry games, whether it was Kansas, Kent St uh, Kansas State, or the old Xavier UC a couple years ago. Williams, great take, but no finish off the heel of the rim. He can't believe he missed it. He should dunk that. He, you know, we've seen him do it many times this year. Christian Jackson is called for a walk, and the fans here at Akron are not pleased. See right here. I mean, Simon's definitely I pushed think, him. Well, I, I think that for yeah. the little contact, but the contact. You're all making letting him play tonight. I like yeah, it. I like it. You know, it's a rivalry game. Yeah. I mean, if they were playing in the backyard and there's no officials, they wouldn't be crying about it. But you, know, you have to get in there and mix it up a little bit. Fan to shoot. Here's Simon's the back end on Christian That's Jackson. Great defense. Kicks into the corner. Long three. Launch. Miss from Roberts. Rebound cheese. Right now, you you have to. That's exactly what you got to do. Get it to the basket. Can't hit the layup. But he will shoot some free throws. Tyler Cheese back to the line. Team second leading score. 16 points a game. Only has three points tonight on one and a three. You have to get physical inside. Not only on the defensive end, but you have to get to the basket. You got Williams has been playing a, a super game offensively, but you really haven't gotten much from anybody else. Jackson has nine, Banks has ten, but nobody really shooting the ball very well. He shoots at 82.3 percent from the line. Dan Riak returns. Banks is back. Williams and Tribble are out for now for Akron. And one more here for Tyler Cheese, senior from Albany, Georgia, Florida Southwestern State Junior College transfer. Final home game of his career. It's two. Yeah, we're back to zero, partner. Oh, what do you expect? Time. Again. What do you expect? A rivalry game. And you just, it's rarely ever a blowout. These games are fun. The cover. Pippen in the corner. Splashes a deep three. Danny Pippen does it again with a three ball. 14 points tonight. And Rhino, that's just a hard 
place to play. You got Danny Pippen guarded by Riyak. So Pippen's stronger than low down low in the paint. But then if he pulls him out, Riyak can't get to the, out to the outside jump shot. Riyak is fouled and shoots two free throws. You'll see here, Riyak is in the paint. A good pass. Riyak can't get out there quick enough. That's just not his game. He's an inside player. So using the Swiss Army knife Pippen to take advantage on the dribble drive and then the outside jump shot against the bigger guy that's not as quick. Check that Reese is fouled and shoots one more free throw. Back on a miss on the first. Three threes tonight for Pippen. He's got 14 points and five rebounds. Put him for an eighth double-double on the year. It's a guy who had seven blocks, a school record in a single game this year. Elite athlete. And yes, sometimes the emotions, as Williams is back in for Akron, get the best of Danny Pippen. But when he's on, he's dangerous. You know what? If he can get his emotions under control, he is a physical player that has a finesse game. And, and you just don't see that very much. He can take it, bring it outside, but he can also get to the rim and also score with his back to the basket. Case in point on Banks, baseline. Short this time, Roberts. That's why battling for it. It's out of bounds. Antonio Williams was crashing the offensive glass. And it's going to stay with Kent State here. Pippen's got some bad knees. I mean, you know, if he gets hit, a lot of times it. You know, Coach Senderoff asked him, hey, do you want to go today? Because he has really got bad old man knees. He plays hard. Simon's blocked by Banks. Dang react to track down of the loose chain. Trees on the baseline. Kicks for Banks for three. Short. React. Big side offensive glass and a kick out. Here's former high school teammate Lauren Christian Jackson. The hustle play by Dang React. Christian Jackson the basket. Whoa, hits the floor hard. And earns that trip to the free throw line shooting team. Well, when you're small, you have to figure out what you're going to do. He goes underneath the basket to go shoot it at the opposite side, which basically engages the defender to get the foul. You know, he would have gotten that block if he would have stayed on the left-hand side of the basket. This is a smart play by Lauren Christian Jackson. Misses the free throw. Rare, he shoots 88%. Not his best game. Three for 12 from the field. Two for three from the free throw line. Four rebounds, four assists. But he has five turnovers. Now Akron is in the double bonus. Double figures. Christian Jackson, the fourth best free throw shooter in the back. It's one of two. And Kent State by one in our back and forth wagon wheel rivalry game. Exactly what we expected. The intensity. We got React Guard from Wellington, so big on big, but you have Williams and Pippen. See if Pippen tries to take him down low. Pippen, everything will go down. Long rebound for Banks. Foul in the back corner. Against Turbell back of Kent State. Golden flashes by one. Buffalo is clinched. Uh, the bye get, we'll get that bye with Northern Illinois win as well. So a lot is happening in the Mid-American Conference. The regular season finale. Banks, one more free throw. Well, Akron's been able to get back in this game because they've done a very good job the last six minutes on the inside game of Kent State. Kent State has 30 points in the paint, but they haven't got in the paint and scored in the last 631. And that's been the key for them coming back. Northern Illinois playing Ball State tonight. That game is underway. Huskies, Mark Montgomery would love to have a top four seed and a spot in the quarters Thursday in Cleveland next week. Williams on the bounce. Step back, Roberts had a big game. But I miss Williams the rebound. 22 points and 11 rebounds. Double-double for Zarius Williams. Have to see Akron to settle down. Try to get the ball inside to react. Yep, Williams on the perimeter. You got react down low. He's very efficient. Look for him. Two-man game. React. The catch layup from Tyler Cheese. Just like you draw it up. Get the ball into the big guy. Slow it down. We're in a half-court offense. Timeout, Rob.
of Senderoff. Kent State has missed seven of its last eight. And Akron has a three-point lead. His brother, uh, who's at Xavier. So this is a guy, John Gross, who knows how to get it done. He's turned this program around. John Gross, two and three against Kent State. As the Akron head coach, overall, including his time at Ohio, six and eight. Head to head against the Golden Flashes. We'd love to get a win here tonight on senior night. Kent State Cole trying to change that Simons. Corner three. Buries it. Troy Simons. A deep triple. Outside jump shots by Simons. That's the rule to Coach Senderoff. He wants to get Simons the ball in positions where he can score. All tied up. Timeout. Akron. One point game the last time these teams met. They split last year. Kent State won at home on senior night. Akron won big at home. Here's the jump. Cheese. Deep three. Tyler Cheese connects. Well, Pippen was down on Reax, so he took Pippen, the tall guy, athletic guy, away from the perimeter. And him guarding Riak. Geez, wide open from that outside jump shot. Peterson back in for Kent State. Antonio Williams has the mismatch by Christian Jackson and now has a chance for a three point play. I'll tell you what, you want to get your athletic guy. Pippen's going to go all the way back into the paint to help out on Riak. You see him down low? That leaves wide open jump shot for Cheese, but now. Williams going back and trying to get one an old-fashioned way. Gets the roll. Antonio Williams has 11. Well, they're going to get Pippen on the box out. And that's uh, three, three fouls on Danny Pippen. And, and that, he's just too good. They need him for 40 minutes, and they need him under control. So foul on Pippen is third. Here's Danny react to the free throw line. One more for Dang. Brad Student, transfer from ECU in the American Conference. It's a couple. 72% free throw shooter comes through. Akron by two. Now, right now, I would get the ball into Danny Pippen. We've talked about his emotional state, getting strong. He is the guy that has the one two. Look for him to get the rebound or get the ball. Simon's off a curl, can't hit. Foul called. Zarius Williams battling with Pippen. But that's, see, that's where it's a, it's, it's a fine line. You want him to calm down, but you know he's going to be involved in this play. Watch him get over there. Williams can't get the position on Pippen. And that's, that's going to be Williams. Is that Williams' fourth foul? Four foul, Zarius Williams. Inbounds play. Roberts for two. That state is not going away. I mean, they, as Rob Senderoff told us today, I'm pleased. We played the last six games. We played five full games hard, and we had one 20 minute game against Eastern Michigan. We didn't play hard in one 20 minutes. And he likes this the way his team's playing right now. Christian Jackson really having trouble tonight. He's been harassed all evening long by several Kent State defenders. And Williams gets whistled for his fourth. That, right, that time right there was Christian Moore and Christian Jackson. Lost his footing looking for the foul, but wide open Roberts for layup. Top five in the MAC free throw shooting this year. Hits the first. Akron 17 to 20 from the free throw line, shooting at 85 percent. That bodes well in a close game like this. 92 threes. Christian Jackson will lead the Mid American Conference. Only one tonight, though. One of six from three. Hits crucial free throws. Four fouls. Williams. One possession game. Everyone on their feet here at the jar in Akron. You got to have a two-man game, and Pippen's got to touch the ball. Williams will take too strong. Stick back off the mark. Rebound for Cheese. No need to foul if you're Kent State. Play good, solid defense. And if you're Akron, run the shot clock down. But try to look inside to react. 
Christian Jackson will probably be in the dribble drive mode. See if there's guys on the perimeter looking for the jump shot. Crossover dribble, Christian Jackson for two! What a move by the MVP in all likelihood of the match. That was something. Four-point game, foul! Christian Jackson. There, there's no need to do that. That's one of those fouls. You just let him go. He's got four fouls. This is beautiful move by Christian Jackson. A crossover, ankle breaker, and the... And now it's Roberts. Huge free throw opportunity. The goal flashes. And hits basically, first. Basically, you bail out because of a ticky-tacky foul on the perimeter. 30 feet, 25 feet to the basket. You don't need to do that. You want to keep your hand up using your feet. You don't want to risk that foul. Now the clock stops and gives Kent State an opportunity to cut it to two. There's lots of things right now in this game. 30.2 in the game. Roberts hits a pair. He's got 17 tonight. Four shy of his career. Best set against Towson earlier this year. Timeout. Two-point game. It's left. You know, Akron has done a great job the last seven possessions they've scored on. They got to get the ball in. And they got to get it over the half court line. If I'm Kent State, you try to trap them. If not, you have to foul. Geez, two on one with Dang React. Wisely pulls it out and foul. 21.3 to go in regulation. Three on Anthony Roberts. Now here comes Cheese to the free throw line. 82.3% on the season entering play here tonight. And two of three. So far in this game for the lefty for the charity strike. One more. This one right now, that one's important because they can't beat you with a, they can tie you with a three, but they can't beat you. This one makes it a two possession game. Still, with 21 seconds left, that's eternity in the college basketball game. There's so many things and twists that can go for either team. Jeez hits two, 19 straight double figure games he's played in. Remember that one game suspension after bumping the official at Bowling Green? 20 seconds left, a four point game. Two free throws, Cheese, huge for Akron. Simons at three, it's partially blocked, and a foul call. Three free throws coming up here as Williams has fouled out with 11.7 seconds to go in the second half. Three free throws on the way for Simons. Simons has missed his only free throw attempt of the night. Shoots 83%, first of three, gets a roll. So he makes all three of these, or if he makes, you know, just two of these. There's lots of times, so what you want to do is you want to make sure when Kent State gets the ball in, you don't let him get it over half court. You have to foul him in the backcourt, preserve some of that time. The ideal to foul him before the ball comes inbounds. Senior from Pittsburgh. It was a seven three-pointer game this year against Ohio. Fourth in the Mac and threes per game. Had a great season. Trying to hit all three. Gets a roll again on two of the three. One-point game, 11.7 to go second half. And as soon as the ball is inbound, a level foul. And, and having that ball roll to half court is in the benefit of Kent State. Really, if you're at get the ball and throw it in quickly before the defense has a chance to set up. Now you have to foul. They found Lauren Christian Jackson, who's the best free throw shooter on the team. Akron has made their last eight free throws. Not happy. But Coach Senderoff has his board out there. He had all five of his guys around it. He was designing a play. Christian Jackson is the first. Because right now, it's going to be a three-point game. I mean, you still have a chance. There's lots of time. But he's got no timeouts left. Stuck that in, didn't he? He did. There's a reason he's the all-time wins leader in Kent State history, Rob Sindra. <laughs> well, gamesmanship there. He's turning around to the fans, and he's and he's sitting there laughing. And it was actually pretty funny. Good gamesmanship. Christian Jackson, 7 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. Hands two. Dribble in. Three-point game, 10.5 to go. Second half. Well, Santiago 
who hasn't played much this year as the guys run the point. Antonio Williams, Santiago, the fake. A foul first with 3.9 seconds to go in regulation. And no three for Kent State. That may be the smartest play. I don't know if it was set up, but you'll see. Played on the Puerto Rican national team, about 12 points a game, five and a half assists. So here we go. So, you know, he, he can make them both. He makes the first one. One and one, the left he hits. So, and, and then you can try to miss this one. I typically say try to make it. You still got four seconds left. Try to get a steal or a quick foul. Let's see what Rob Senderoff has in mind. You got two great rebounders in there, but they're going to be looking for Pippen if he misses it. Makes it. He tried to miss it. He that. did try to miss it, and it went in anyway. But you got a foul right now before the ball comes in. Quick foul. So it should be 3.8 seconds, I would think is when the foul was called. Zips have made their last 10 free throw attempts. And now it's Banks. Shooting two. Wow, 11 in a row. So this time, but you have to pass the ball court. Dribbling up is not going to make it. There's enough time to get a good shot. They're not going to be able to run the same play they ran before. But you got Antonio Williams with the ball. I'd have... Pippen on one side, and I'd have um, Simons on the other side. Let him dribble, drive, and kick really quickly. But if Williams taking the ball out of bounds. Banks hits two. One possession game, 3.7 to go. Antonio Williams sprints up court, lets it fly for the tie. It's off. And that's it. Hackren hangs on.